How do you get in some of these pants? Me? I mean, you really want somebody. How do you get in some of these pants? Anybody. Well, you know how you get in some of these pants when you really want them? You leave them alone. Or reject them a no, little. Nobody can figure it out. When you're hot on somebody for two months and one night you're like, I'm done with this bitch. You go to a strip club and you bother the same bitch every night for two months. She's not she interested. tells you she's got a boyfriend or whatever. And then you go in there and you pull out the baddest bitch for 800 or 1,000 bucks, whatever she wants. <coughs> Next night when you come back, that stripper's going to be pissed off at you. There's just something about women and men that drives us crazy. When we get shut down. Comics have the same. I used to study comics at the store. When a comic is big time and he's holding court, he's not concerned about the six people that are holding court. He's concerned about the one guy standing in the corner not listening to Always. Him. Okay? He's not pissed off about the seven people. There. He's not concerned about them. He's got them. Yeah. I've seen stars go up to the store. I've been sitting in the lot just smoking pot watching. And I would watch the, the so-called stars, you know, holding court. But certain comics not even giving a fuck that they were there. And you could see it was driving them crazy. <laughs> it's human nature, it's to, human nature to want the one that's not paying not attention. Paying attention to you. I use I do this sometimes like I was at a party one night and there was a guy I was into and all the girls were kind of into this guy like everybody was trying with him and I talked to him for a few minutes and then I just went in an empty room at this party and I sat down on a couch and I just started watching TV like I literally just did my Done. own thing. I come over to you. 15 minutes later he came in the room That's hung it. out with me the rest of the night and it was just because I was the one that wasn't trying. Done. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I That's felt it. like I won. We were talking about it yesterday that how my reaction is to woman. This is why if, if, if something come up, it's bullshit. Because I need to break your balls. Like, I've had... Like, I, in Boulder one time, I was on a date. And I had met this girl, you know, it wasn't like an online date. I knew her. And we went out to eat or something. And I didn't know. Like, you ever see that movie, Blind Date? Uh, Before they I'm took it, sure. it's an old movie from '87. It's hilarious. Bruce Willis and Kim Bassinger. No, I this just... is when Kim Bassinger really didn't know what she wanted to do. She was making all these movies, yeah, with these good-looking leading men. And she did this movie with, with Bruce Willis, and they told him specifically not to give her booze. To like, give her oh like booze. There were some people that you cannot give booze to. And before I took this girl out with my demented mind. A friend pulled me aside and go, whatever you do, do not give her alcohol. And in my demented male mind, You're like, hell like, yeah, I'm giving That's it. the first thing I'm doing. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So the first place I took it was for a shot. And once she had the first shot, she lost it. And she started having more shots and getting louder. And now I'm like, what am I going to do with this girl? So I figured, let me take her back to the bar where her girlfriends work so she could calm down now. By no means, I do not want anybody to get me wrong. I wanted to fuck this girl more than anything in the world. She was beautiful. Yeah. I can't even believe she was on a date with me. I was just starting to do comedy, and she had a beautiful ensemble. And we were pulled up at the parking lot. She's going crazy in the car, like singing loud, like Lee. What I had a, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, a girl came over to Lee's house and was talking about ayahuasca and oh. all this shit. And he. Lee almost dialed 911 <laughs> because Lee can't handle, I can't handle that shit either. Yeah. I, I don't drink. So a drunk yeah. woman gets on my last fucking <laughs> Me dirt. too. I nah, hate drunk people. There's two types of drunk women. There's drunk women that are paying the ass and there's drunk women that are fun. Yeah. She, this at least this girl. Was fun. Was fun. She yeah. was making me laugh. But as we pulled up, she turned around and looked at me and she goes, this is a perfect place for us to fuck. <laughs> And she took his shirt, and no. she just ripped her clothes off. That was her freak. She liked when you ripped her clothes off. Yeah, well, who does? She ripped her clothes off. In the car? In the car, ripped her skirt off, and here we are in the parking lot banging, and I, I'm, like, out of water. Like, she fucked the shit on me in the car. I got to walk into this bar, like, with pussy on my breath and shit. Oh. And, I'm like, and they're like, where is whatever her name was? And I'm like, uh, she's out in the car. 
I couldn't tell her she couldn't come in because she was, her rip was shredded. Oh, her clothes were gone. Her clothes were shredded. Yeah. She was sitting in the car with like a blanket on, waiting for me to bring her like a fucking vodka tonic. <laughs> so I came out, I brought her vodka tonic. Holy shit. We finished fucking in the car. We went back to my place. I gave her like sweatpants and a shirt now. She was adopted. And her real brother was visiting her from out of town. And her brother knew how, the type of freak she was. And when I, when I dropped her off, she had her clothes. How? When I dropped her off, she had her clothes in her hand in a bundle with her heels. Like she had ripped off her top. Wait, what did you give her to wear? A shirt or something? I gave her, I took her back to my house and gave her like sweatpants. Oh my God. She was tiny. She was a tiny chick. Yeah. So I had like fine chick. I had like fine clothes. One of the chicks like that I had, you know, like a, a <laughs> surplus chicks. over the years. You know, like you keep like a pair of panties of or course. something. Yeah. So I dressed her up and I remember taking her home. And I'll never forget like her, like she was in. Like she loved it that I attacked her and, and that she ripped her clothes. I mean, she kept telling me rip my skirt, and I was like, I can't, you know. And then she, then we kept dating, and she would tell me rip my clothes off, just don't rip the bra because they're forty dollars. <laughs> rip everything else off. She would have like dollar store panties, and I would have to rip them off. Oh my god! So, but I don't even know the point we're getting to here. When she first told me, when she turned to me, Kate, and said, "So, are we gonna fuck, Kate?" Every piece of energy left my body. Like I was ready. If I could have, I, I would have pressed the button. You know how the early James Bond car, you would shoot out of the car? <laughs> like I would have shot out of the car. <laughs> because I'm the type of guy, I have to tell you, Kate, you're looking good. Let's see what that pussy tastes like. If you bring it upon me, there's guys that fold. Huh. Have you ever met a guy where you were aggressive with him and he kind of, Folding a little bit, kind of. Yes, kind of. I'm one of those fucking fags. I'll fold on the fucking questioning. It's happened to me before where I'll go out with a guy. Okay, this drives me insane. If you want to get a girl to fuck you, here is a great way to do it. It's happened to me a couple times that I'll go on a couple dates with a guy and I'll be into him, but I'll hold back on fucking him because I don't want to do it too soon because I, I like him, right? Or I'm trying to set some precedent like, oh, I want to actually date him. And a couple times, if I don't fuck him by like date three or four, they kind of disappear. And if I like them, then I start to try to use the sex to lure them back in. I haven't done this in a while, but there's one guy in particular. I literally, the last night we hung out, we were like almost hooked up, but we didn't. And I was like, next time for sure, we're fucking. And then the guy never took me out again. And I would text him every once in a while, like I would send him a hot photo. I'd be like, I'm in your neighborhood. Let's get naked. I eventually just went straight to let's fuck. Like I was just throwing it out there because I was once someone won't sleep with me, but I've had a taste. I want it. I want it. I can't help it. I'm and especially die. when they pull back. Yes. Well, especially when they go, you know what? I'm going to pass on Kate. Yeah. Because I'm like, why? What happened? And then it, it makes me go a little nutty because I'm like trying to figure out why doesn't he want to fuck me? And then, of course, like the arrogant part of my brain is like, he's gay. Like, that's my first go to. I'm like, he's got to be gay. Why won't he fuck me? Or he has a girlfriend. But it's happened to me three or four times. If I don't fuck him by date three or four, they don't try. And then once I, yeah, once you throw it out there, you send a naked photo, you try too hard, they're out. They're out. Some guys cannot be. And a lot of guys listening to this going, yeah, Joe, you don't know what you're talking. I'm telling you. I've had friends that have told me the same situations. I had a friend that I have a dear friend that I still talk to. And when we were kids, I was living in Colorado, went home. And one night he goes, I want you to meet me at this bar. I want you to meet me to my new girlfriend. And her name was Karen. But after years, we started calling her crazy Karen. She was the real deal. <laughs> and this was like maybe their fourth date or their fifth date. And he, he got up to go to the bathroom, and she looked me straight in the face, and she goes, so what do I got to do to get your friend to fuck me? And I was like at a bar. I was 21. I didn't know how to react. Like, what are you talking about? And she <laughs> goes, I've done everything I can for your friend to fuck me. Is he gay? Are you his gay lover? Like, I, And she was from Jersey. She was like, are you a faggot? Is he a <laughs> faggot with you? And he walked back right into the conversation. And? And he goes, what's going on? I'm like, no, we're just talking. He goes, no, no, tell him. What's the deal? Are you ever going to fuck me? And he fucking turned pale. And he was like, what type of fucking woman are you? Like, I was in shock. And then they ended up dating for years. And they, oh, they fell did. in love. And yeah. But after that, she was crazy, Karen. 
So it worked though. See, but like that's my dr- like dream. Like I, I was always like when you said that like girl, if you like someone, the way to get them is to not pay attention to them. I didn't get that memo. Like, like I, 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 you have to figure it out. I and I not I did pay. now, but it, no, it's true. I've been single all like ten months. And when I don't return a call or if I, like, have to cancel because I have a podcast or I'd rather do an open mic, they they call it, like, they're all they want to do is come over. And I was nice for 28 years, 29 years, and it got me nowhere. And, like, it's – so the, that, that annoyed me, but then it also – I would love like it's crazy that you don't like when girls are aggressive. I like that's what I need. No, I would love that. Oh, you need a girl to smack you in the Not face. Not want anyone to smack me. I need but I like to smack you in the face. I like when they like. I, on you. <laughs> Sometimes that's I feel like a pervert because as guys, you always have to be the one to initiate. You do not. Well, but once the girl initiates, in my past, I don't know. I like the guy to kind of like manhandle me a little. But every once in a while, it's fun to dominate. A guy every I don't now want to and be then. Dominated, but just like just to, you need to get dominated. You need all uh, these things. Every once in a while, you need Kate to smack your open hand <laughs> in the face like Khabib did to Conor McGregor in the third round. Just mid slap you and call you a faggot. Eat my pussy, you little fucking faggot. <laughs> you know and you're like fuck you. Don't call me a faggot. I'm not a faggot. You need and a she, girl to throw you down and, and just sit smacks, on your face. Then no. she backhands you with like a glove. Eat my pussy, you fucking little <laughs> Jew faggot. And you're like, don't call me a Jew. I, I, you're anti-Semitic and all this shit. You. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lee, do you eat ass? No, no, not a, not a chance. Why? There's poop up there. Ten Planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends in Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers. 